Tyson. Let's talk about something smaller in a way, but sure. in, but in sort of mentally, another thing that'll keep you up at night and kind of make your brain explode is. You know, I'm scared when you pull stuff out. Like this? Oh, you know what you know, this is. Oh, right yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so recently, into our solar system, above the, what's it called, the plane of the ecliptic? Sure. Okay, where the planets go around? <laughs> yeah. Uh, from, the... from above or below or whatever, yeah. off the axis of where the planets go around. If the planets all do this around the sun. This thing came from deep space, not in our system, not from your Oort cloud or your Kuiper First belt. First time ever an object from inter stellar space has been observed to visit our solar system. Now, this thing's got to be like a ship, right? That looks too much like a spaceship. This is not a photograph. What? This is an artist's rendering. We know it's elongated, and I don't believe this is okay, just... I, you don't get to take... What about that? What about that one right there? You hold it, whatever you want. You got whatever. people. You, you, got, you got people. I got people. You got Look people. at that. So, okay, but it looked like it, that. It, no, no, no. So What do you say? It was elongated? I'm just saying they, this cigars don't come journeying into solar system. So, <laughs> Which is why it has to be an alien <laughs> this spaceship. This is a Cohiba cigar. Yeah. Right. So, so... <laughs> yeah? Asteroids, we know. Yeah? Uh, many of them, if not most of them, are loosely held together rubble piles. Uh -huh. And if they come near... Uh, gravitational sources, tidal forces can stretch them so that they become a stream oh, yeah, of particles sure. rather than just one solid mass. So and this so thing this is, isn't solid? This, it is likely not solid. What is it? But, but the, the signal we get from it is elongated, but it's probably a rubble pile stretched into that shape. Because mm -hmm. you don't get that by, by nature. You don't get that. Yeah, that's why it's man-made. <laughs> alien-made. Well, alien, alien-made. You want that to be aliens. The, the... That's what... Just fess up. You want that to be aliens. Of course I want that to be aliens. Okay, so... That's the, the whole okay. point of this question Here's that I've never problem. finished. Here's the problem. <laughs> Here's the problem. This thing came in moving fast. Yeah. Fa it has escape velocity, a hyperbolic orbit. What? Okay, hyperbolic trajectory. <laughs> okay. That's why I quote, we say hyper, hyperbolic. Yeah. Hyper is... Yeah. It's got more energy than... Than a bollock. Than a bollock, yeah, hyperbolic. <laughs> but it's parabolic, for example. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so... The reason why it's probably not aliens is its trajectory around the sun was completely determined by gravitational forces. How do you know? Because we know, we calculate this. We have this laws of gravity, laws well, look, of look physics. At this, look at this, see this, see that? That trajectory was completely controlled by gravitational forces after it reached its peak up here and came back down, and yet a thinking creature started the process, okay? It doesn't mean... If this came in, you go, oh, gravity did that. But somebody made it go to here. Checkmate. <laughs> Parabolic. Parabolic. <laughs> <laughs> that, my friend, is called a taste of your own medicine. So this thing, so all I'm saying is, if it's only moving by the force of gravity, then it's not, we presume it doesn't have, like, rockets and things. If this were aliens yeah. in a, some kind of advanced ship, it would be maneuvering, doing interesting things. But maybe it already maneuvered on its way in. It was doing a close pass around the sun to get a whip and acceleration, the be... way they use satellites to go around the back of a planet to whip yeah. them out into outer space. Yeah, you be... know how we use... We, uh, yeah, it's it's called slingshot yeah. effect. Yeah, oh, yeah. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so, okay, maybe the aliens shut off their engines to masquerade as a cosmic object to get a slingshot effect around our star. Maybe we can't perceive what their engines are and that they have a It mode. could be, I can just tell you they're off. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they are, yeah, but did, 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 they're off. Did, because it's, if, because a tennis ball would have that trajectory moving at that speed. That's all. Is there any chance Not that that's for, a tennis ball? No. <laughs> no, and by the way, big news was that the Pentagon yeah. was tracking UFOs. Right, we saw the footage. They released the footage right. from like F-18 fighter pilots right. on their little scope there where they saw it. It's like right. a tablet-shaped thing. Infrared thing. It accelerating, something. at stopping, accelerating, changing directions in ways that they can't explain. That has a way better chance of being aliens than this thing. Because that those objects were doing things that were not gravitational. So what do you think? Do you think that they, they got something there? I think we, we don't know what it is. So hence the U.
in UFO. Wow. Uh, if, <laughs> if, I'm there. Are, are I'm you going to say? I'm are, on board. Are you going to say? Yeah. Well, this is a UFO. I don't know what it is. Therefore, it's intelligent aliens from outer space. You just said you don't know what it is. Yeah. You can't then be certain it's anything. I'm not certain. I'm hoping. You know, but I'm hoping too. I want to meet the aliens. Okay. You know. What? By the way, you want, if you ever meet the aliens, yeah. they, they take you on board. Yeah. First, take some photos. Okay. First. Second, when they do the sex experiments on you. Okay. <laughs> they. So here's what you do. <clears throat> tell. Tell the. That's what they do. We all know that. Don't okay. you have to check a box to like, <laughs> opt in on that? Okay, sure, sure. Okay. The probes, the so probes. here's what you do. Here's what you do. Tell the alien to look, say, oh, look over there. And then quickly snatch something off the shelf, like an ashtray or something. Put it in yeah. your pocket and then lay it back down on the slab. <laughs> then, when they le then when they let go of you, you've got something of alien manufacture. Wow. And then so in this scenario, the aliens smoke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, hold on, listen. If I, if I see them, I will give them this, which is your book, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, a New York Times bestseller for 34 weeks. It's crazy. Crazy. I don't... I don't... Extraordinary. I, I'm delighted that that appetite is out there. Maybe it opens doors for many more science books to, mm -hmm. to, to appear there. Do you have a, do you have a favorite thing? Oh, oh, that you may said? I? Oh. It's your book, man. It's your book. <laughs> oh, may, may I? Sure. So, uh, the last chapter, Reflections on the Cosmic Perspective. So, the words I'm about to read are not mine. They're by James Ferguson, a physicist from the 1700s. Take it. If I may. You may. <laughs> okay. If I may. I'll get you a glass of mead. <laughs> James Ferguson, 1757. Of all the sciences cultivated by mankind, astronomy is acknowledged to be, and undoubtedly is, the most sublime, the most interesting, and the most useful. For by knowledge derived from this science, not only the bulk of the Earth is discovered, but our very faculties are enlarged with the grandeur of the ideas it conveys, our minds exalted above their low, contracted prejudices. Thirty-four weeks. I can't wait to see you for ten. <laughs> Let's make it an even two digits. Okay. Astrophysics for people in a hurry is available now, and Star Talk is on Nat Geo Sundays. Neil deGrasse Tyson, everybody. We'll be right back. Stick around. Wow, what a cliffhanger! What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.